Hi, uh, my name is Brando Koth of E Daily TV, and today we are hanging out with the lovely band that is Elani. And as you know, Elani's recent song that is uh, Sirudi talks against domestic violence in families and uh, social settings. And today, that is July 22, Friday morning, when Kofi Olomide landed at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. He allegedly fought, kicked one of his dancers after the dancer had an altercation with his alleged lover, who is a band member. And we're going to seek Elani's view about this as they are ambassadors against, uh, as they are ambassadors who speak uh, vocally against violence, domestic, be it domestic or social violence. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Maureen. Thank, you, Thank you for having us. All right, what do you think about this um, Kofi Olomide scandal that uh, took place at the JK Friday morning, July 22. Uh, I mean, it's it's really a shocking video. We also yeah. the video a, a few hours ago. It's 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 really shocking to see someone who you hold in a certain regard act in a manner that is what you perceive to be unlike them, and it was really um, something that we already speak against. Yeah. It's, it's very interesting that just a few days ago, like you'd mentioned, we released Sirudi, which is speaking against all kinds of violence against women and men. And for, for this to happen um, at a time like this, I think that it's, it's really fitting that we speak on it and say that this isn't the way to go. There's always a better way to deal with things than resorting to violence. Um, if, like you'd said, because you, you, you mentioned that the alleged story that's going on now is that um, Kofi Olomide's girlfriend had been in a fight. Yes. Um, with the victim, mm. regardless, I mean, it doesn't matter what she did. There's, there's no need to, to kick her mm. and, and to hurt her. And even so, even if it was the other way around, yeah. even if she was the one who hit him, we'd be saying the exact same thing. It shouldn't happen. Violence should never be an answer for anything. All right. Uh, several women leaders, including Joyce Lay, Taita Taveta, women representative, has called for the deportation of the Congolese musician. Um, do you... Uh, agree with her that uh, the singer shouldn't even be allowed to perform in Kenya and that he should be deported? I think the, the main thing that needs to happen first is that he needs to apologize. That's something that, that I haven't seen happen. Maybe there's something that we've missed, but I, I haven't seen out of everything that has happened. I haven't seen him apologize to her specifically. I haven't seen him apologize to his people and to the country that is hosting him. And I think that in itself will diffuse a lot of the tension that is that is going on with regard to um, deportation or to cancelling his show really that's up to the organizers to do we can't speak for them but honestly I'd say for him as a man uh, the first thing that he needs to do is say that he's sorry all right uh, talking of as a man we have also Brian as you can see and um, Brian my question comes to you do you think sometimes uh, I, I I'm not a f I'm not being gender insensitive do you think sometimes the ladies get too much on our nerves to an extent where we just explode and uh, react that way without knowing? I think there are always better reactions, you know. Um, at the end of the day, we are men and we need to protect our women. It is biblically given that as men we need to protect the women, we need to guide the women. So such kind of behavior is, I condemn it because it doesn't make you a better man. It makes you less of a man. So beating a woman or just assaulting anyone is not the right way to go. Yeah, I don't, I condemn it totally. I wouldn't react violently. I wouldn't beat her up because I was taught better. I was raised better by my mom. And um, as, a, as a guy who has two sisters in the same family, I, I know how to relate with women. So no matter how upset I am, I'd first cool down and just find and find the reason why, uh, find, a, find a solution, a valid solution of how to go about everything. Not just react or slap or kick someone, no. I wouldn't do that because I was taught better. I come from a very, very God-fearing family, so no. It makes me less of a man. It doesn't make me more of a man. I leave. There's an option to leave. I wouldn't even think twice about it because if, if my energy is being drained that much, I wouldn't waste my time there. I leave immediately. I think that the first step, the first step is to first, honestly speaking, what I would do is to first step aside 
and ask him to also step aside from the relationship for us to first deal with ourselves and for him to understand that that action is is it was not deserving of that particular thing that maybe I did or I said and for me to also understand that I'm worth more than 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 someone reacting like that in a relationship so I would first say we need to step aside and deal with our own issues and then maybe after we have healed and 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 and, and seen that we we can be better than that then we can sit down and see whether there's something that we can get back to but up until then it's 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 a very for someone to get to that point where they hit you i truly do believe it doesn't just start with a slap it's 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 some it's it's something as 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 small as uh, which is deemed as small but it's it's not really small being shouted at being first it starts with emotional abuse then from the emotional abuse that's now when we we go now into the physical phase so you you first need to deal with it from that perspective knowing that that action that slap that kick that blow was not the first point of him being abusive of her being disrespectful of her being violent i mean i think like one boy had said earlier there is it's very rare for there to be a situation where everything is rosy and dandy and one day someone snaps and slaps me it doesn't happen like that there's always a, and which is why every time a woman has been abused she's asked did you see the signs and in hindsight she goes oh yeah I saw that coming. Like I, I didn't. I ignored it. And a lot of the time, it's very easy to ignore because you're in love. And when you're in love, you want to see the best in the person. And anything that they do wrong, you're taking as the exception rather than the rule. Um, if I were to be hit, I mean, I honestly can't speak for it until I'm in the situation because only in the situation do you know whether or not it will truly happen again. I can't. I can't speak for any woman who has been hit before because thankfully it has never happened to me. But I've heard stories. I've seen people have friends, you know, there's the, the loose aunt who's gone through something and left her husband, you know what I mean? And, and all of those women say, I saw it coming. I knew, I knew that there was a possibility that this could happen. And honestly, the only advice that I could give then to, to women is if you see it coming and you genuinely in your heart believe that there's a possibility that it'll happen again, get out before it does. There's no need to sit around and wait for it to get worse. If you are ever in a situation where you think it is possible that you may be emotionally abused, I think the best thing to do is to go and speak to someone who you look up to as a mentor or to a parent of yours so that you can explain the situation and ask them for their opinion because it's very difficult to see emotional abuse when you are the one being abused. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. As Elani has said, there are the telltale signs in the early stages of a relationship that you should really be keen and look toward when he starts abusing you when she starts abusing you and telling you how useless you are maybe it's a t maybe it's the right time to visit a counselor or an advisor to or a, a relationship expert to tell you how you can go about that and as elani still says there is no room for violence in today's society there's no room for violence in today's world regardless of uh, the situation regardless of the status of provocation. Till then, it's been Brano Koth, edaily.co.ke. Have a good one.